So this is How the Other Half Loves. Yeah. It's an Alan Akebourne play. It is. Uh, set in 1969. Yeah. OK, so tell us about it and who you two are. I'm, I play uh, the character Teresa. This is my husband, Bob. <laughs> Bob. And it's basically a play about infidelity and class and money, relationships. Yeah. And it's a lot of fun along the it way. It is so... We're having a lot of fun doing it. And are you it. the only couple in it? No, no there's three, three couples. couples right. and so we've got the fabulous... Like, the other actors in it are some of the funniest people I've ever met. We've got Robert Dawes, Matthew Cottle, Caroline Langrish and Sarah Crowe. And all of them have such funny bones that we... Yeah, they're literally, amazing. Literally, I have to wear incontinent nappies <laughs> at work. <laughs> and when we talk about the other half, that. are the other half uh, middle class upwards or middle class downwards? We're yeah. Sort of both. We're basically in the middle, I'd say. Mm -hmm. and then You've got the Featherstones who are slightly lower class, and then. Uh -huh. uh, well, that's an improvement from EastEnders for you. You're going on. I mean, it's good for you, isn't it? <laughs> no, You're going on. <laughs> and what's, what's he like as a husband then? This well, I mean, you know, it's hard going to work every yeah. day, having to look at him, but, you know. But no, what's their relationship? We're having their, a lot of fun with it, aren't we? Yeah. Uh, their relationship um, is best described as tempestuous. Volatile, yeah. They've got a young child, um, and uh, it's actually my daughter's favourite part of the play. I was doing lines at home with Vanessa, and there's this bit where this child who's always off stage and has been quite neglected, really, a lot of the time, he pours prunes all over his head, he's <laughs> trying to swallow stuff all the time, and so Lila loves that bit when we're running lines. And, eh. um, I think so you're um, practicing your lines with your daughter. Yes, at home. yeah, yeah. She's a, she's a very good acting coach, and uh, then um, I, I think their relationship. They're either kissing. Or crying, or fighting. Or fighting. Yeah. Okay. So and, it's, and it's great to kind of. And have is the infidelity experience. between the other like you having affairs with the other couples as well? Bob. Bob, Bob has had an affair with the boss's wife. Mm. The you are a one, Leon. The play <laughs> You're a one, aren't you? Well, Bob's a man of great appetite. And, and it's touring, isn't it? Yeah. Going but all yeah, going explain all to me though how you can be free of Coronation Street and be p touring mm -hmm. at the same time. So what does that tell us about the plot in so, Corrie? Yeah. So. It, uh, I finished on Corrie a week and a half ago, and um, the good news, I think, for the play and for everybody is that it builds to a massive climax um, in September when we're in Manchester, and uh, lots of people are going to be coming from the cast to come see me yeah. up there. And so the, the, the storyline in Corrie really builds to a head around the end of September. Will you ever be able to go back? Or I can you not answer it, that I, question? I, I, <laughs> I think it's going to be a fitting uh, uh, and dramatic climax for everyone. Okay. But well, he's, a good, he's a very good baddie, yeah. I have to say. You, play, you give good baddie. <laughs> now, have you been watching Sean in Celebrity Big Brother I've House? seen a few. Yeah. And I've heard that apparently they reenacted the, the, the Barry Did you not clip. see that bit? Uh, somebody show me a clip. Oh, right. <laughs> I think Sean looks better looking today, younger looking he's today, doing, than I he know, did then. I think he's doing really well, so everybody keeps telling me. I mean, that's hilarious. Were you surprised when you heard he'd gone in? Yeah, I suppose yeah. so. I mean, it's quite a big deal, isn't it, going yeah. into a show like that? And I think it's a big deal as well, you know, the, the profile you guys have, especially with this plot line in Coronation Street, uh, building the climax, when you're up in Manchester. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna, people, are people going to have trouble getting tickets for go to go along and see you? Oh, uh, well, so where they can go cool. to get the tickets is kenwright.com, and we're going to all of these glorious places around York, the country. York, Bath, Cheltenham, Glasgow. Glasgow right up until the 2nd of December. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a long tour. Yeah. yeah. Into Richmond, Brighton, everywhere. Yeah. Lovely. We're going to be and sick of each other. <laughs> <laughs> I could be sick of that face. I know. Look at them. Uh, listen, thank you very much. Good to thank see you both. You. How the Sounds other half fun. loves coming to Sounds a theatre near you. Yeah.